I have two different kinds of rubber mallets. I have a really hard rubber mallet. I have a, a really small pointy peen, peen handle. A peen, I also have this peen hammer. Okay. Yes! Look at this we stuff breaks more. beautifully. We got more than we wanted, but I think we got... I think we have the right amount, or okay amount. Well, let's see what we have. We got... Here. Uh, this was here. And then we got... Keep it a little bit apart so we can get a sense of the river, the rivers. <laughs> It is a little more than we wanted, but... Yeah, it's a little more than we would wanted, but I think it's pretty. Don't you? It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be more than what we... we were looking for a break to go like right here. Yeah. yeah. This one, maybe it's more than, maybe it's more actually. It's so easy to make it Let's be too much. Happens. I'm, this is more than what you did, right? But yeah. I kind of like the waviness of this one. Yeah, it's going to give it this one. Uh, like a river. Now, since we're going to fill it, I'm wondering if we should glue it together with the Instacure and then do yes. the other thing, you know, Should we later. use that putty stuff? The, uh, the putty glue, the two-part epoxy. Uh, I was going to use this. Oh, okay. Because it's not going to be, you know, this Does it way give us enough time to put the uh, gold on it? I think yeah, it does. Yeah, that, that sets real fast. I think it does. Fast. No, but not too fast. No, but I mean, what we would do is put this together and then fill. As we go. Yeah. This is, if it does ooze out, oh, it's not going to, you know, the epoxy is going to go in there mm -hmm. with the gold. So this, hold this together. So we want that to dry completely but it doesn't dry completely for something like 10 hours eh? well this will dry pretty quick that you can work with it mm -hmm. I mean you can't just start you know banging it around, slam, banging it around. Mm -hmm. but it, it, it holds with some strength pretty quickly enough for us to do what we're gonna do They're all luncheons except for that one. And that one I, I must have left a piece upstate. I move it across a little bit so that mm -hmm. because if some of that glue oozes down on mm -hmm. the lips down the bottom. We'll be glued onto the table. Yeah. <laughs> See these? I tie the ones up that were used in the garden so that they don't get mixed in. <laughs> Aren't they great? The little package. And then these are another type. <laughs> look at how pretty they look mm -hmm. tied up. And then these these were all the same type of themselves. Right. Are there any like flat looking ones in there or are they all they look kind That's of a flat of one. Kind of, um, These are big, yeah. 
I don't know that you want, wait, oh, you mean like the flat, flat ones. I, ha I don't have any of those. It doesn't have to be. I'm just wondering if there is. Now, I mixed up a little bit of the contact cement with. Well, it's getting dry fast. Oof. Just to see what it's going to look like. Look how fast it's getting dry. But this <laughs> stuff says it takes 24 hours for full, full cure. I wanted to see how it would be to work with. I don't um, think you need that much in there. I think no, you could add you more glue uh, to it right now. I want I could add more glue to this. I just mm -hmm. wanted to see how workable the glue is. I think it'll be more workable with more glue and that's what that's what I would think so too. Much. So let's add a little bit more glue and that that's r real bright color there. So Yeah. I have you can get any color. I I had a struggle with finding the right the right color of gold. I might have gotten too strong of a color. But I like the bronziness of it, you know, the copperiness of it. Right. Just for a change. But there were real, like, gold, gold, yellow gold, you know. Ooh, I think we need more. I think so. Yeah. Oh, it's so um, much powder. Whoa. I don't think we need very much powder at all to proportion with this. It has to be kind of soupy, soppy, you know, a bit to fit in and ooze in. We almost like want this mm. like slip on clay, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Like slip trailing. I wish we had a tube that we could had a tiny, tiny point <laughs> cut off. I'm gonna give you a little bit more. Okay, now let's try that. Even that is more than we need. But let's start, shall we, with that? Well, do you want more glue? It'll last um, longer. It'll save. We wet. have, we have plenty of color. So yeah, I'm game to put more glue in there. It's as well, you know, an educational process for us. We're gonna see how how far we can go. Yeah, with glue. and um, well, the glue is probably the glue cheaper. Glue is staying workable, and it yeah, says, and it's cheaper than the gold. The gold is about. It says it's full cure in 24 hours. So we're oh, not that's really great. Worried about that. No, all right. Workable we can work cure. all night. <laughs> 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 Invite Emily over for a sleepover. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, how much did you put in there, Bob? No, I only put a little drop. Wow. I stuck the screwdriver in there and I put a dot. Oh my gosh! And it really just—it goes a long way. Yeah. Should we put some more? I don't see why not. I mean, this. Look at that. That's the color, and it didn't even change. Yet. No, it, it hasn't. It got just a little bit looser, which is what we could use. You know, instead of so chalky. Okay. We could take a portion of it off and work, work it. You know, and add more. Yeah, I'm gonna. Once uh, we learn more about, should I take a toothpick? And I think I might take a. Break. I mean, this has plenty of color. In it and um, I think you could start trying to put some in there and see how it does. Wow. Should I, I should, I think I should, you can always take it out, you know. With, yeah. I just don't want to make too much of a mess because it's not easy. It's got to go a rise above this, though. You know, it has to. Yeah, you want to have a little height. A dome, a dome. This is not easy because of that dome we need. You know, because it's not really sinking all the way down if you don't push it in. It might be a two-part process where you put it in until it's flat and then you make a dome after. I don't know. It's just a thought. Mm -hmm. That's kind of messy looking. Also, how do you get into the flat areas? a lot it's going to be a lot of sculpting I wish we had um, something that 
was a, um, oh, a solvent, a solvent, you know, yeah. to it. I wonder what it says for cleanup on that tube. Yeah. Stuff. I'm thinking mineral spirits or something like that. Mm -hmm. See how it, it needs to be flattened in there before you can get... But it looks really bad to me right now. Getting it down in there. I wonder if the screwdriver would work. To flatten it in, yeah? With the flat, um, try it like that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Only this, it could be a finishing tool to get it flat, but then it's not taking care yeah, of the dome. You want to have a little bit of raise there. Mm -hmm. But this needs to be in here, or it's a, it'll make just a bubble back there, you know? And we want to push it all the way in. And then, once we have it flat, then I think we go, maybe it even has to be dry, and go back for another step of a dome on top. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing a really sloppy job on purpose right now. Oh, oh no way. We have to take it really carefully. It comes off okay. But we have to get it domed up. And that's where the squeezing comes in. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I wish we could use this glue as the foundation and put this on the top edge of it. Not on the edge, not on the top, but in right. like two well, layers, like a stripe of this and a stripe of that. Want to try an experiment on this one? Yeah. I'm going to prepare. We need to clean it though. It's yeah, too I'm going to grind it and then clean it. Okay, we m I think we need to dampen that cloth, by the way, a little bit more. You want to try and clean it up with this? I was thinking, um, oh, I wish we didn't have this kind of cloth. I wish we had a knit one, you know, like a t-shirt. This is so... Like a t-shirt, all right. Yeah, but let me just start with it. I'll try it. Gosh, hands, it's anyway. so um, let me see what else so we got. Hot. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, it definitely cleans it off, but it's not. I thought you could put a thick piece on. I haven't tried it yet. This should work. It cleans the plate really well. I'm wondering if, since we got some glue ready and we got this. Yeah. Should I just go ahead and put some half, super glue here? Half of this. Half and half. Mm hmm Let's try it. We got this something is, ready. But this is going fast. So we might as well go with it. Okay. Um, but it's not going to go the whole length, Bob. So we're going to have a problem. I think it will. You do? This? Yeah, I think that, that'll come this. I can put it right on the top. Mm-hmm. Now... Yeah, that's going on us. Wow. Yeah, it skins over. It's, it's like it's really, really fast. It's not workable right now. So if mm -hmm. I can get some on here, then we're just going to try this. We could probably break it apart again. But if we can, it's not the end of the world. It was already It's already broken. broken. There. Yeah, this is like fun to work with. it too much it gets all bally. It turns it turns to be ball bally all that. But if we if worse mm -hmm. push comes to shove, if yeah, it was at least flat no like this one. This. No. That's gone. But Bob, look. See where it's just flat right here in this one inch and a quarter. That's what you want. Well 
Yeah, right? I think. I mean, I liked it a little bit domed, like on that beautiful piece from the museum. Right. But we don't want it to be down in like that. We want it to be flat with the surface. And I think if we did it quickly, now we know that this glue does not stay wet. <laughs> it does not stay like it is in the tube. You know, I got a bunch of glues that my mom gave me from her when she was making her miniatures. Uh -huh. And I should see what, what she has in there, what she gave me. If we had a little more glue on here like this, this might not have been too bad if it would have oozed out. Uh-huh. But it, it just didn't. It would have oozed out, we just didn't have enough glue. Yeah, and it's held with the other glue down below. Mm-hmm. I think this is the, is the solution. We just need to work fast and we need to... Yeah, we need, we need to, to get this stuff looser. Number one, we need to be looser we, with, with, our, with our leaf stuff, with our gold. Uh, what about the idea of dusting it on the surface? Blowing it on it with glue oozed out. That's another idea. Brush it on. Yeah. With a little brush. That's what that's one of the things they were doing there too. I think that might be although it doesn't seem like it would be as permanent as if it's in the glue. You know? Right. I'm gonna see what kind of glues I got. My mom had the glues of all kinds of testers and other stuff. There might be something. Let me work.